Okay, hi everyone. You actually get to see my face here. We're going to talk about how to actually set up the machine so that you can play with it as need be. So this is our um, biofeedback machine. Okay, It comes with a cord that you're going to attach the electrode to. Okay, So first things first, when you look at the machine, um, everything should be in the off position. Okay, so the continuous or threshold should be off, and we start with the gain at one, okay? Um, so all the way over to the left if you're looking at it. And then the volume we have down right now. And then our threshold we have at 10, okay? Um, so other things you can kind of think about is inside the battery, where the battery would go, there are some settings that you can set. If you can see in there, there we go. So those little white knobs. Those are um, some various settings. Everything you need to know is in the um, instruction manual. Basically, right now, and for most of what we do, we keep everything just as it is. So all the little knobs are, are pushed all the way to the bottom. Sometimes you can set it up, um, there's like an alarm, where basically you only hear or see the feedback if you get above a certain threshold. Um, for the most part, we like the continuous feedback, so we'd leave everything here. So we want to make sure the battery goes in. So these are your electrodes. Okay, so again, they are come in one electrode, but we have the two active electrodes and the reference electrode. So again, with the little tab down here, these two are active. This is our um, reference. So you would pull that off and you take a little bit of gel and you put a little bit of gel on each of the diodes, okay? Use um, like my wrist extensors, okay? So if these are my wrist extensors, right, my middle of the muscle belly gonna be right here. We wanna go with the um, parallel to the fibers of the muscle with those active electrodes. So I'm gonna lay down like that and go down, okay? Then I can take my um, electrode and plug it in. So on it, it says reference and then your positive negative. So you'd want to set that up and snap that down. And then this gets plugged in to the side jack. Okay, so there's three different things here. It's this one that looks different than the others. That would be our, our jack that we put it in. And now we're ready and set up for muscle contractions. So now, as we turn this on, we turn it to continuous, and you can see the lights light up. So as I contract, they shoot over towards the, the right side, okay? As I relax, they come over to the left side. So again, this is with the one gain. So I can turn up the sound for you too, you can hear. So again, as I get over on the right side, the frequency of the sound increases as well. So you can have that turned down, you can have that go. It even comes with a set of headphones. So if someone's working in the clinic and wants to hear the feedback, but you don't want everyone else hearing and it's distracting, you could do that. But I'm gonna turn that down right now so you can hear me. So again, now comes the time to set our gain. So right now we're at the times one. So that means our reading over on the threshold dial is our actual microvolt reading. So right now I have it turned over to 10, which is the highest threshold. You can see if that, so again, as I contracted, I got all the way over really easily. Again, I'm not injured, so that would make sense. But if I move this way over to the very tiniest level, so I spun it all the way over to 0.5, you notice that even just sitting here, I'm over in the, the yellow as high as it goes. So that wouldn't be good if I'm trying to do muscle re-education, right? because I have nowhere to go, I'm already up. So as I spin this, okay, and spin it over to 10, now I'm floating over there, and again, as I contract, I can make it to, to the far side, okay? So if I was actually injured, and as I'm doing this, I'm always making it over to the far side into the yellows, we would wanna make sure that we turn it up. So since I'm all the way up on my dial, my only option is to go to my gain. So now I'm gonna go to times 10. Okay, so now as I contract, oh, that's really hard, okay? So if I couldn't actually get over to my goal, which if we go um, back down to the one, so when you get to that very first yellow, that is then, you know, you've reached the micro level of what's over on your dial, okay? So when I get here, that's 10 microvolts, okay? 
So now if I did times 10 and had to try to get there at the 10, I'm not making it, okay? So now I can adjust this with the threshold dial. So by turning it down a little ways, now I can get over there. Maybe I turn it up a little bit more. And there, now that's kind of challenging. Or up a little bit more. And there I really have to, to shoot. So again, as I get to that yellow, I'm at the times 10, and right now I'm at about five. So when I get to that times, to that yellow, I'm at actually 50 microvolts, five times 10, okay? So again, if I went all the way down to 0.5, it's still pretty easy for me to create my muscle contraction. So I wouldn't want to be down that low. Now what I could do is go to times 100. So now I'm way over at 0.5 times 100, and now it's really hard for me to get. So again, as I get to that first yellow one, so now I'm at 0.5 times 100. So that'd be the same as I was before, which was the 50 um, microvolts. But as I turn this up, if I go to one on my threshold dial, and I get over to that, then I'm measuring 100 microvolts. So that's what those point time. But again, you can see that that's hard. So I would go down. And that's probably still too hard. So I should probably be right at like the point 10, probably all the way over to about 10, maybe less. So right about there. And about, again, two thirds of the time, you want them to meet your goal. So if your goal is all the way over to the yellow, you wanna set it up that about two thirds of the time they can get there, okay? So again, if I turned on the sound, you can see that's no activity. So again, in between every contraction you'd have them do, you'd want them to relax all the way. So now as I go to contract, I get over there, maybe hold my contraction for about three, five seconds, and then relax, okay? Again, we can work on speed, right? I could go, okay, you need to get all the way over there as fast as you can. Okay, or I can try, okay, slowly, let's get over there. Right, so you can work with different things. I could then also be, let's say I'm a tennis player, right? I could be trying to do this while I'm doing my, my swing, okay? And trying to actively contract those muscles, or a baseball player, or whatever. If you're on the legs, right, you could have them doing squats and trying to contract. But again, you just want to play with those settings so that they are successful about two-thirds of the time, so that they have something to constantly be striving for. Now, if I was going for muscle relaxation, I'd want to do the opposite. So I want it, in this case, I wanted to keep turning up my gain so that it would be harder for me to get over to my, my results. Now I want to get to that zero point. So ideally, you want it to be super sensitive so that it's hard for them to do that. So if I go back to the one, and I'm at three for my threshold, I have to really think about trying to get it to relax to go down. And I'm still not getting it all the way over there. So again, now maybe I turn it up a little bit more so I can get that full relaxation. Trying to relax. Okay, so in this case, we want it to be harder for the lights to get all the way to the green. We want it to make it that we get to that silence. So you would almost do the reverse. If it's, if it's too hard to get them to relax completely, then we have to turn it up. But the place we want to start is the most sensitive, which is at 1 and all the way over at 0.5. And this is almost impossible to get me to relax at, so then I'd need to adjust. There, I'm getting a little bit. But again, you could do this on the upper trap. You could do it all kinds of places. So that's what I'm going to suggest you play with. Take, a, take some time. Um, again, the electrodes are one use, but if you're going to be practicing multiple times, please use your own same electrode and just save it so that we're not going through electrodes over and over and over again um, so that the individual, you know, one person uses their electrode. It'll probably only last three, four times, um, but it's better than doing a new one each and every time.